Hey everyone, so a year or two ago, I started doing videos on my favorite sustainable, more ethical, vegan, cruelty-free products. And you guys seem to really enjoy that video and it's been a while, well, it's been a year or two since I've done another one. And since then, I've discovered more products that I really, really love that I would really love to share with you. <laughs> Starting off, this wouldn't be a great, reusable, more sustainable, more earth-friendly favorite video if I didn't talk about one of my favorite cups. If you watched my last menstrual cup video, you would have seen that the Be Free cup came in my top five favorites. This cup is my favorite cup for if I'm gonna be super active, if I'm gonna be on my feet for a long time out in public, or honestly just out in public in general, because it's one of those cups that really stays in place so I don't have to worry about accidentally pushing it out when I'm out in a public restroom and it falling into a disgusting toilet. But the Beef Free Cup is one of my favorites and I'm so excited because they rebranded recently. Not that they needed to, I thought the cups were great before, but they did rebrand and I wanted to share all the fun changes to their cups. They still have the same reusable metal tins, which I think is great. You can use this for whatever, if you wanna put like spices in it, if you wanna make it into a piggy bank for a kid or yourself, maybe you wanna store jewelry in it for travel or just put your cups in it for travel as well. They also came out with a teen tin, which I believe is the same size. It just has a different design and instructions on the outside that's meant for their sizes zero and one. And then they still have their great biodegradable bag that you can keep your cups in in between use. It has instructions on it as well, or you can again dispose of it and not feel guilty because it is biodegradable. Another thing they did during the rebrand is they came out with some new colors and they are beautiful. I'm really excited about the periwinkle. It's a very soft purplish blue. They also came out with carmine, which is a very deep blood red. It's showing up a little bit brighter because of all of my lights right now on camera, but it is like a deep really pretty red. And then they came out with Raven, which is just a black, and then they have their clear still as well. Even with all the new colors, it still has all of its same antibacterial properties. Because of the microstructure surface, it prevents a biofilm from being able to develop on the surface of it, which that's where bacteria colonizes. So it itself is antibacterial. So no matter if you boil it, if you wipe it down with a cloth, if you wipe it and wash it with soap and water, or just water, it'll still keep its antibacterial properties, which is pretty awesome. This is a great option for people who may not have access to clean water all the time or if ever, and also a great option for people who are hiking or doing a lot of camping or traveling or just plain old lazy like me and they don't like to necessarily boil their cups between uses. This is a great option. Now you guys know one of the biggest reasons why I love the Be Free Cup is not only because it comes in a huge range of sizes, like I said, sizes zero, one, two, three, four. So that's 10 milliliters to 30 milliliters of capacity, but they're also a social enterprise that works really hard to bring menstrual cup education and also menstrual cups to marginalized girls, women, and menstruators in not only East Africa and South Africa, but also Central and South America as well. So if you're looking to try a new cup, please check out Be Free. I love their product, I love their company, I love everything that they are doing and what they stand for. The new colors are beautiful and I think that the teen tin with the sizes for teens is gonna be really great for people who are just starting out in cups and maybe a little bit nervous to try one. I will leave a link to Be Free underneath this video if you wanna try them. Highly recommend. Moving on to the next product, I wanted to talk about this Angela Roy vegan leather handbag. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Eloise Signet Satchel, and I received this from them as a gift. Thank you so much, Angela Roy. I absolutely adore this bag. Not only is it a very ethically sourced bag, and it's made out of vegan leather, but the people who handmade this bag are also treated fairly in the workplace, which I think is super awesome because everyone deserves to be treated well, not just animals, but also humans in their workplaces. This is the smaller, I believe, of the Eloise bags. They have tons of bags on their website. I chose this in deep olive green because I have a lot of just regular colored neutral bags and I really wanted something that was very fall feeling and this definitely hit the mark. It is the perfect size for me. You guys know I don't like to carry around a ton of stuff if I don't have to anymore because I'm getting older and back pain and shoulder pain are for real in my life right now. So I do like a lighter bag. This comes with a crossbody strap as well, but I actually really like this a lot as a shoulder bag, which I never thought 
I would say out loud about any bag. Um, I tend to always like the crossbody because it's simpler, but this just fits really nicely around my shoulder. It's the perfect height. The vegan leather, to be completely honest, and this is coming from somebody who used to collect leather designer bags, and I do still have leather bags. I won't lie, I have tried to stick to companies that ethically source those things, however, or I only buy on sale. I don't know, I don't wanna get into it because I just, I know I'm not perfect and I don't want anybody to harp on me for the other bags that I have, but I'm trying my best to make changes when and where I can, but this is a nice vegan leather. I have felt a lot of vegan leathers that just feel like straight up plastic. Uh, this actually, if I didn't know better, I would think this was actually leather. The construction of the bag is flawless. It's just a gorgeous bag. The clips that they use to attach the different straps are lobster claws. They're very easy to use, so if you have issues with like maybe dexterity, it's very easy to get your straps on and off very quickly and seamlessly. The inside of it has lots of storage. I picked the Eloise because again, I really wanted something where I could easily find my things quickly, which this is perfect for. All the details in the metal are gorgeous. It is a very beautiful bag. If you want me to do a what's in my bag video, let me know. Right now is not the time because we're talking about other things and I don't want this video to get super long. There's a magnetic closure, which I will say, I don't know if mine, I just am not used to closing this bag or not, but I will say I do kind of sometimes struggle to get it shut in the right spot because if it's not connected on it, it kind of pops off. But what I do like is there's this little lip and like that hangs out. So that way when you do try to close it and you push it in, it kind of naturally, naturally, <laughs> it kind of naturally just you know, fits where it's supposed to. So I am getting used to that, but other than that, like I have no complaints over this bag. The detail, everything, it's just a really beautiful bag. And I thought it would be a little bit too dressy for me, but honestly, I've been using this every day and with every outfit I wear, it actually looks really nice. So Angela Roy, they have tons of bags. I was drilling over like three other ones. Gorgeous, gorgeous bags. Oh, so check them out. All right, moving on to some skincare products. The first one, you guys have probably seen this product and this company everywhere because their marketing is just psh, everywhere. Uh, Sand and Sky products. Usually with products that I get in PR, especially if they're overly hyped online, I tend to be a little bit skeptical of them, uh, especially when I see a ton of influencers pushing them. I will say that I do have affiliates to most of no, I have affiliates to the Angela Roy if you shop through that link underneath this video I have an affiliate to Sand and Sky and then one other thing here I tend to just be a little bit more hesitant to believe the hype on certain things if I see them plastered everywhere Sand and Sky was one of those things But they did send me a PR package no strings attached and I did try their products and I will say that this plumper mask uh, it's it for me. It's so good. It's a jelly consistency. It's not like a clay mask or anything like that, which I really, really like. I feel like the clay masks can dry out my skin and kind of pull the things out of my skin that I need to stay in my skin. The hydrating masks are usually going to be like the good ones have like a jelly consistency, uh, so they won't do that. It smells very pleasant. This is a vegan and cruelty-free product as well. I believe all of their products are. Packaging's very simple, but it's also very cute, and it's affordable, which I really enjoy. But this mask, the Australian Emu Apple Super Bounce Mask, I used this the other night, and my face just felt and looked so good. Like, it looked plump, not swollen, not any, it just looked happy. Like it looked like I had happy skin, if that makes sense. It's a very good mask and they have a ton of other products as well on their website. All right, the next skincare product I have, this is actually a new one to me. I found it in the Kinder box that I did a review on, which is basically a beauty box that is all vegan and sustainable and cruelty free. But this was in that box and I showed my excitement when I saw it because I've been wanting to try this for a while and it was such a great deal. It's on the higher end price point for skincare, uh, but it's so good. So this is by Earth Harbor. It's the Mermaid Milk Nutrient Glow Moisturizer with Spirulina and Matcha, or Matcha, however you wanna pronounce it. This moisturizer is so good. It's so good. I've been using it every day. 
As you can see, I've made a dent in it. It smells good, it goes on my face so nicely, absorbs super quickly, and keeps my face actually hydrated throughout the day without being greasy or like, just gross. It works really well under the minimal makeup that I do and it just feels super duper nice. And you only need a little bit. Like you kind of look at the jar and you're like, oh, $42, like that's a lot. But you need just a tiny bit. I take my knuckle and I just take a little dip out and that covers my whole entire face. This is also vegan, cruelty free and clean. All of their products are. Again, I will leave links for this underneath this video and that will be an affiliate link as well. So this product is vegan, gluten free, and cruelty free, but I'm not quite sure in regards to its packaging where it lies, so nobody like get mad at me. But the Verb Energy Bars. Again, this is a product that I have seen everywhere or was seen everywhere before I tried them myself. I actually purchased my first order through an influencer's link, so hopefully that helped them out. I love to like spread the love. But I had to try them because they were so hyped up everywhere. I saw them in ads. I saw, I mean, again, these marketing people know how to do it. They know how to, they get me coming and going because it worked for me. These bars are mm, so good. I talk about them all the time on my Instagram. Uh, they just sent me the pumpkin spice latte ones. I purchased myself the peanut butter cookie ones, I think. I think that was it. And those actually are really, really tasty as well. Then I tried the vanilla latte, which I wasn't as big of a fan of. I did just place an order for another bag of these and then also a bag of the mocha mint because I wanted to try those because I think those, I love mint in the morning. It's a good like wake me up. Not that these don't do that themselves. But anyways, I did order two more bags because they're just so good. So right now my link underneath this video will give you a discount, I believe on the pumpkin spice latte, which is a limited edition uh, flavor. So if you're gonna order this flavor, go do it now. But the link that I have for you underneath this video, I believe gets you that for this bag for like $9 or something or $10, I don't know. It does give you a discount, but if you don't use my affiliate link or you don't get a coupon code or you decide to keep ordering from them, they are $19 a bag. There's 12 of them in there, which works out to be around $1.60 66 or something per bar. The bars are not huge, but they are only 90 calories and they have as much caffeine in one bar as one espresso shot. If you eat two, that's two espresso shots. I'm telling you guys, they're made out of organic green tea and that organic green tea knows how to get you going. I have been eating one of these every morning and it's just like instant energy and not like the jittery, like I'm about to have a heart attack energy, but like a nice pump of happy endorphins, um, let's go get some work done energy. Again, these are vegan, gluten-free, only 90 calories, and way cheaper than Starbucks coffee and way better for you. All right, last two things. This is gonna come off as a little weird, and to be honest, I don't know how like earth-friendly these are to make or the materials. I don't know that because these are from Asia, but you guys know that I fell in love with the TIY hair ties, which I do still love them, and God, I've spent so much money on them because they are super expensive, uh, but I wanted to find a more affordable option for not only myself and my girls because we all got a lot of hair in this house, but also for you guys, and one of you, actually two of you, sent me links to these. I, I don't remember what the name of them are, I will leave the link to them underneath this video. They are from Amazon, which I'm really trying hard to move away from suggesting things on Amazon. I feel like most companies now actually offer free shipping and it's pretty fast. But these unfortunately, I could only find them affordably on Amazon. Uh, but these are basically a TIY dupe. You just get a long cord of this stuff and you can loop it and tie it for as many as you want to make it either super durable for people who have super thick or long hair or for people like Kaya, I only do two loops and tie it because she doesn't have as much hair as me. But what's nice about these is they are super long lasting. I love them because I can just put it around my wrist. I use these. I've not had a single one break on me with this brand or the TIY. It holds my hair up how I need it held up. I can wear it doing running, sports, like my hair does not budge. But the biggest thing is I'm not going through a new hair tie every day. Those black goodies, oh my gosh, I would joke that they needed to sell those at Costco because 
because I would go through those daily. It was horrible. And then every single time I would throw them away. And if you open one of those, it's like actually 12 little rubber bands with fabric around them. So I feel like they were super wasteful and not only on my wallet, but also the environment. So again, I don't know how these are sourced. I don't know that, but I do know that I have spent a lot less money and wasted and thrown away a lot less since I started using these kinds of hair ties. So again, I will leave a link underneath this video if you want. They come in all sorts of colors, which I also love. If you see my Instagram, I do sometimes match my hair ties to what I'm wearing. I'm a little over the top in that way, but they're really, really nice. And I've now given them to my girls and they haven't, like Ava's had hers for a month now, which is a record for hair ties for her. All right, last but not least, because this would not be a video of mine if I didn't remind you to drink water. This Awala, I think it's called the Free Sip Water Bottle. Okay, I have to mention this because A, it's so pretty, <laughs> and B, because they are bomb. So you guys know I love my Hydro Flasks. They are still great, I love them, but I needed something a little bit smaller that actually fit into my drink holder in the car. And I found these at Sam's Club. And they had a two pack for $34.99 and then they had a two pack for $29.99. The 24 ounce ones for some reason were more expensive, I think because they came in more ranges of colors. But I got two of the 32 ounce ones, which is this one, for $29.99 and it was such a great deal that I bought another set uh, for the family because I have five people in this family and gave them water bottles as well What I love about this water bottle is not only does it keep my water cold for 24 hours But also this little like loopy lock thing not only keeps you from accidentally opening your lid But it also flips up and becomes a handle so I love that function because I'm constantly Juggling and carrying way too much stuff and this is nice. So I can just hook it on my thumb and this is my favorite part is that you have the option to either pour the water into your mouth or right here you can sip it and there's a straw in there. Again, they're the Awala water bottles. And the only reason I'm mentioning them other than I love them is because they right now are still two for $34 or something like that at Sam's Club. And that's a really great deal because I think alone they're $24. So these are great water bottles. I really, really love them. And they come in a lot of fun different colors. And then that's it. Those are all the new products that I've discovered and fell in love with that are happy and healthy in certain ways. And yeah, I will leave links underneath this video to everything that I mentioned. Again, some of them are affiliate links, so I do appreciate when you shop through those. Some of them will give you discounts as well, which is always a win. I love it when you guys can get a great deal through me. And again, make sure to check out Be Free's new cup colors. I was seriously disappointed that I wasn't on my period when I got these because I really, like this is so disturbing to say, but I really was like, I wanna bleed into that periwinkle one. Like I really wanna use it. Like nobody sees it, it's in me, but for some reason I was like, it's so pretty, I wanna use it. And oh my gosh, Kelly, what is wrong with you? But check them out. Again, if you have a teen that wants to try out a cup, I highly suggest Be Free Cups, not only because they are antibacterial, which for a teenager who, if they're anything like mine or a little bit forgetful is a great thing. And also they're great for people who are high activity and high motion. So for people who are doing sports and things like that, especially the high school menstruators, these would be great for you. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos. Hit that notification bell because if you don't, YouTube is mean and they won't tell you when I've uploaded and then you miss it and then it makes me sad and it makes you sad and then we're just a bunch of sad people together. and follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm up to daily. But I will see you guys all in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Okay. I really hope that lawnmower isn't in the background of this video. Also, why does my onesie match the curtains?